In this video, we are going to see fecal emulsification of a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. The patient is under topical anesthesia. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now, a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away from the main incision. An air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and beneath this air bubble tripon blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. When we apply tripon blue dye underneath an air bubble staining is very quick. We do not have to wait more than 15 seconds for washing out the dye. This is a bit of adrenaline and now the dye is washed out. If we do not wash out, if we replace the dye with visco, there will be higher concentration of visco at some places and a lower concentration of visco in some other places and that will cause some visibility issues. So, it is better to wash out the dye and then inject visco. And now, capsular excess is done with the help of a uterator forceps. If the jonule is strong, we can easily make a puncture at the center of the anterior capsule, raise a capsular tag and do a nice CCC. Size of this rexis is about 5.25 millimeter. Hydrodissection is then done with the help of BSS and this 27 Gauss cannula. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. And now again some more visco, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now is the time to introduce the phaco needle into the anterior chamber. The phaco needle 2.8 goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and then this is direct chop. The fecondidyl is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is chopped. The free nuclear fragment is emulsified and eaten off. This is the other piece of the hemonucleus and in no time it is also emulsified. Then we come to the other hemonucleus, chop it into two fragments. Each nuclear fragment is emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 60 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And now the nucleus is managed, some cortex is there, some more visco. And now I take a 22 gauze Simco cannula, goes through the main wound, this, this uh, cortex from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock is removed, then 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, then cortex from 2 o'clock is removed. cortex from 2.45 o'clock and now I go through the side port and remove the cortex from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Thus cortical cleanup is done. There is some fibrosis of the posterior capsule 
near 7 o'clock equator. We don't have to do anything for this because the central part, central 3 millimeter zone is clear and these fibrosed areas usually doesn't extend. And now the main incision is enlarged by 0.2 millimeter. So the 2.8 millimeter wound is now 3 millimeter. And then a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted under irrigation. And this is known as hydro implantation of intraocular lenses. Hydro means water. The antechamber is maintained by irrigation of BSS and uh, an intraocular lens is implanted. Advantage is we don't have to spend time to clean visco because we have not used visco. It also eliminates the risk of raised IOP because of retained visco under the intraocular lens. And now the side port is closed by BSS being irrigated into the stroma on either side of the stab wound and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. After the final lavage, the antechamber is nicely formed. The IOP is kept on the higher side and then we conclude the case. So thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in learning direct job of nuclei in grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.